so you might be wondering, Sierra, why did you just buy all that spaghetti? And why are you filming your intro in the car? Well, there's a few reasons for that. I want to start a new series here on my YouTube where I try out TikToks that have gone viral, specifically ones that I think my kids would enjoy or the playroom would really love. And today we're going to be trying out this viral TikTok. It has 4 million views at the time of filming this and it looks so much fun. Now, the things that she's saying in this video, which you can't hear because I did have to um, mute it because she was using some copyrighted music, which is great for TikTok and not so good for YouTube. She said that the cleanup was horrible and she doesn't wish that cleanup on anybody. So I wanna see, do my kids love it? Is the cleanup as bad as she is saying it is? And would we do it again? Um, I'm surprising my boys with this and that's why I'm doing the intro here in my car because I don't want them to know until the very end when they get in the bathtub and I'm so excited to see their faces. So if you guys are excited about this idea of me trying viral TikToks, let me know down in the comments because I would love to make this a series. And if you guys are new here, my name is Sierra. I'm a married mom of two small boys. I'm also a TikTok creator and I post a lot about grandma's playroom, about my life, and my family and today we're going to be doing a viral TikTok, and we are going to see if it is worth the hype that it received so let's go home and let's go boil some pasta noodles so i'm going a little double duty right now i've got some on the stove and some in the instapot because i'm trying to cook it faster but i wanted to talk about a bunch of the comments that she was getting on her video a lot of people were commenting like how wasteful this was. It was a bunch of food she was just um, using for fun and she was just wasting it all. But I've noticed if people make rice sensory bins or bean sensory bins, or if they use pasta to make jewelry for their kids, nobody makes those comments. It was just specifically the way she chose to use it that day, which just triggered a whole bunch of people. So I don't think we can be okay with using rice as sensory bins, but not spaghetti. So I think that if it is an activity, a sensory activity for your children, and it's a fun activity, it's not um, wasteful. Um, yes, baby. Um, I'm to come in the bathtub right now. <laughs> okay, in a minute. They know something's coming, but they don't know what. But I think the backlash uh, she got for that video was a little unfair. And also, pasta is very, very inexpensive, and it's a nice tool that you can use for, for fun. So we are going to be using that today. I am going to be donating to a local food bank, though, um, just to kind of offset what we're um, doing today. I'll be leaving that link down in the comments, but it looks like this is starting to boil, and this is almost done. So we've got to start coloring some spasa, some spasa, some spasa some spaghetti, some pasta. The stove top worked a lot quicker. I added a couple of drops and squished it all together. We're now gonna put it in this bag to see if we can make it even a little bit more colorful. So let's see about getting that in here. I find that adding the food coloring while it's still a little damp is working a lot easier. It is starting to stick, so I think we might have to add a little bit of oil as well. And see how that works. This is a learning process. The video I watched didn't have a lot of like how to instructions, so we are <laughs> just figuring this out as we go. some like rainbow mermaid spaghetti, but as you can see, I'm having a hard time getting the color to like mix in. I've got spots that have a lot of color, spots that have no color, and spots that are a little bit more pastel. So I gotta figure out what I'm doing wrong here. 
I figured out how to do it with the orange. As you can see, it is a lot more um, evenly colored. I know spaghetti's already kind of yellow, but I can tell in person that the orange is just evenly distributed. I had to rinse the pasta off completely. I'm guessing the starches were kind of keeping it from getting colored. And then once it was um, completely cooled down, I was able to really use my hand to mix in that color. Yes, I got a little colorful on the hand, but I think the pasta turned out a lot better. This is not for the weak of heart. <laughs> this activity is like hands-on, messy kitchen, deep dive. So we've got one more batch to go and then we'll get the bathtub started. <laughs> I was only able to use four boxes of spaghetti. I ended up running out of food coloring before I ran out of spaghetti. So I filled the bathtub about, about halfway, a little bit less. And we're just gonna be using like regular color changing tablets to make the water blue. So once that is blue, I will place in the spaghetti. I don't think I want the bath water as full as normal because I know the kids are gonna be using this for play. So we're already at a pretty messy activity and filling it full of water will probably just make it messier. So I will show you guys the process of getting this started. I'm also gonna pick out toys that I think they'll like. Uh, maybe some sea creature toys. Um, in the video, her theme was like under the sea. We are kind of working with what we got. So we're going with more of like a rainbow theme. But if you ask AJ what his favorite color is, he'll say rainbow. So maybe they will enjoy this more. We also have these really cool cup toy things. We'll place these in there. And as soon as these dissolve, we can start adding the spaghetti. The boys are putting their swimsuits on right now. And they're coming to the door. Almost ready. Alright, start adding it. Hope four is enough. All right, boys, come look. Get in. <laughs> it is spaghetti. Does that feel squishy between your toes? Because I thought it would be fun if I made it your favorite colors. So do you guys like it? Yeah. yeah. A sea got me. Do you think this was worth all the time, effort, and mess that this is? Yeah. And should we do this again? Yeah. We should do it all the time. All the time? Yeah. <laughs> For now on, we should do it all the time. Did you guys like the spaghetti tub? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> was it? Super, super fun. Go! And would you do it again? No! All right, so they are obviously cleaned up. <laughs> we were able to rinse them off pretty easily with the removable um, sprayer in the bathtub, but now it is time for mommy to clean the bathtub. So you don't wanna pull the plug because all the spaghetti will just start to go down the drain. So you need to by hand remove all of the spaghetti. And it's these little pieces that seem to be the worst. Now we do compost. So I brought my entire compost bin in the house. So that way I can just put it straight into the bin. So we aren't going to be throwing any of this in the trash. We're going to be putting it straight into the compost. This is what we are left with now. I was using this mesh to put over the drain so the spaghetti wouldn't get through. I think any cheesecloth would have worked. 
we'll put this in the dishwasher or just hand wash it. This will be pretty easy to just wipe up with some towels. And as you can see, the bathtub is not pink, purple, or blue. So it did not dye the bath. All right, home. so let's end this video. Um, I am back on my kitchen floor. If you are an OG subscriber, you know that this is where I used to film most of my intros and outros. But let's talk about let's talk about the sensory spaghetti bathtub. I think it was a lot of fun, but a lot of work. It took about an hour to prep. I think they played for about forty five minutes, and then it took about thirty minutes to clean up but they really seemed to have enjoyed it. So would you say that that was worth it? Yeah, it was worth it for an hour of working. <laughs> he says it's worth it. I think it was worth it just because they had fun. As far as if we will be doing this again, I'm not 100% sure. This might not be one of our normal sensory activities, but it was definitely fun to try. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, you can either send me the viral TikToks that you wanna see us try. You can tag us in the video. On TikTok, we are at Sierra underscore Zagari. And if you liked this video, we would like it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, we would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Bye guys.